That's a jumbo jet he's dragging around. He could win a tug of war against 10 men by himself. Help me. Apart from his next level coordination and reflexes, there's one thing we know about this guy. He really hates wasting arrows. Rocky Balboa ran up some stairs. Big deal. It would have been even more impressive with Apollo Creed upside down on top of his head. This bodybuilder has boyfriend bench pressing down to an art. And what do you want to do after you've lifted all those men? Toss them to the side. When kickboxing training gets boring, it's time to get creative. Now just imagine how much damage those kicks would do if the tires were an opponent. It takes a lifetime of dedication to the Shaolin discipline to have sticks broken over your head without batting an eyelid. Literally. Nice. Remember when you were a kid and the floor was made of lava? This guy never lost. Not even once. This is proof that the hand is quicker than the eye. Who needs a forklift when you have this guy? This is probably the only other dude in history to literally walk on water. Next time you see a guy squaring up to kick you, keep in mind he could just be offering you a light. When your hands are busy, wave hello to strangers with your scapulars. Totally normal. 11 balls seem like 10 too many to be able to keep up in the air at one time. That's 10,000 hours of practice paying off right there. This snowboarder knows this run like the back of his hand. From grinding rails to limbo maneuvers to save himself from a coat hanger injury, this guy does it all. When the snack machine eats your money and you don't get your bag of Doritos, it's time to give it a stomp and show it who's boss. With a strict shampoo and conditioner regimen, you too could have hair strong enough to pull a double-decker bus with 32 people on board. Speed skating while navigating a tight obstacle course sounds like the recipe for two broken ankles, but this guy manages with skills so quick you'd miss it if you blink. Nice. I never knew snowboarding over water was a thing until now. Nine times out of ten, dropping your phone on the freeway means you need to buy a new one. Somehow, it not only survived, but landed safely on another rider's bike.